in my previous video i showed how macos tau was nearly unusable on unsupported macs with major issues like a non-functional keyboard trackpad wi-fi and usb ports but things have changed in this updated video i am going to show you how far macos tau has come on unsupported mac i will cover what now works what still doesn't and how usable it really is today on older hardware. I will also share my personal recommendation on whether you should install macOS Tahoe on an unsupported Mac at the end of this video. So let's start with one of the most exciting improvements. The built-in trackpad now works. In the past, it was completely unresponsive on unsupported hardware. but. As you can see, it's now fully functional. I am currently running Mac OS Tahoe on a 2015 MacBook Pro with a 2.2 GHz Core i7 and Intel Iris Pro graphics. Nothing fancy, just a base model. Yet it's running Mac OS Tahoe surprisingly well. In my previous video, I mentioned that the built-in keyboard was almost entirely non-functional only the power button worked but now not only does the keyboard backlight respond the display brightness keys also works and if we check the volume buttons yep those are working perfectly too so the bottom line is just like the trackpad the built-in keyboard is now fully functional in mac os tahoo every single key works just the way it should Unfortunately, not everything is fixed. Wi-Fi still doesn't work. But since my quest Tahoe is currently in its beta stage, I am hopefully that by the time of the final release rolls out, Wi-Fi will be fully functional. I am also confident that the amazing upper core legacy patcher team will find a workaround, just as they have in the past. Once Wi-Fi is supported, we will be able to install graphic patches more easily and that should make macOS Tahoe run much more smoothly on unsupported Macs. Right now the system feels a bit sluggy on this machine, mostly because graphic acceleration is not active yet. On the bright side, Bluetooth continues to work just like it did before. But yeah, Wi-Fi is still a no-go for now. now here is another piece of good news. USB ports are now fully functional. In my previous video, none of the USB ports worked under macOS Tahoe. But now both ports on this MacBook Pro are working super fine. A major improvement that significantly boosts usability. At the end of the video, I strongly recommend not installing macOS Tahoe on your unsupported Mac until full support is available. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.